within this strange ship, two astronauts and a treasure. Triple sealed vacuum boxes of rocks and soil from the surface of the moon. Locked within these rocks were secrets of the ages to be studied and deciphered by the scientists of Earth. The age of the moon. The age of the sun. How the moon was formed. How life began. Was there ever life on the moon? Was the moon once molten and volcanic, or has it always been cold and dead? Was it once part of the Earth? Or was it a wandering planet captured by the Earth eons ago? How hot was the sun three billion years ago? When Armstrong and Aldrin, with their precious load of moon rocks, had transferred to Columbia, the faithful eagle, its task completed, could be cut adrift. Columbia fired out of lunar orbit to begin its three-day fall back to Earth, where the recovery fleet was waiting for its splashdown in the Pacific. President of the United States was aboard. Re-entry into the Earth's invisible atmosphere carries with it one of the most critical moments. Traveling nearly 25,000 miles per hour, the command module can miss the angle of re-entry by only several degrees and disintegrate into flames or bounce off into space, never to return. Velocity 33,000 feet per second. 35,000 feet per second now. 36,000 feet per second. We're at entry time. There's blackout.
Houston through a RAV4. Hornet reports a sonic boom a short time ago. Apollo 11 Houston in the blind, uh, Airboss has a visual contact. Apollo 11 Houston through Araya, standing by. Over. Drove. celebrating. Three men who had done what no man before had done. A technological feat that was believed beyond the realm of possibility. The fulfillment of an age-old dream. Were we celebrating simply because it had been a long time since we'd had anything to celebrate? Or was this something that touched an irrational, unthinking instinct in us all?